How important is a healthy imagination? As children grow to become adults, one of the things they almost always lose is their love of using their imagination. As adults, many people think having a healthy imagination isn't important. Still, your imagination can have a huge effect on numerous parts of your life, so you must do all that you can to keep it healthy. Imagination is important for healing. According to Harvard Health, one of the lesser-known purposes of your imagination in your life is its role in emotional and physical healing. When you're feeling down or injured, or maybe experiencing a crisis, your imagination is what helps you to see what the future could be like and how much better it could be than your current situation. Without imagination, you can feel stuck, trapped, and like there's no tomorrow, and everyone knows the serious mental conditions those thoughts can lead to. Imagination promotes success. Besides just helping you through the tough times, imagination is a huge factor of the part of your mind that handles problem solving. When you're faced with a problem that you haven't been faced with before, you may be unable to see a solution. However, your imagination can help you to create your own unique solution. Therefore, if your imagination isn't healthy, this problem could end up stumping you and keeping you from your dreams. Imagination keeps you happy. Do you love everything about the way your life is right now? Probably not. And if you want to change your life, you'll need your imagination to picture what the future could be like. If your imagination isn't in tip-top shape, you won't even be able to picture a new life to work towards or even think of goals you'd like to make for your life. If you cannot propel your life forward and make the changes you desire, this can lead to a life filled with unhappiness. No matter who you are or what walk of life you're from, you need your imagination. Your imagination is critical to helping you overcome tough spots, tough questions, and propelling your life forward to make it into the life you want it to be. So if you don't have a healthy imagination and want to experience the life you deserve, it's time to build a healthy imagination today. Top 5 Benefits of a Healthy Imagination Many people think that a healthy imagination isn't part of a successful life, but this couldn't be farther from the truth. Below are the top five reasons that you should work to have a healthy imagination, no matter where you may be in your life. 1. You will get further in your career. Think of that one coworker that everyone, including your boss, hates. Are they very imaginative? Probably not. Having a healthy imagination is a huge part of propelling you forward in your career as it helps you problem solve and shows your boss that you have initiative. Not only that, it can help you to enjoy your career more as you'll be able to imagine where you're going with it. 2. Imagination leads to passion. If you feel as if you're not passionate about anything and that there isn't anything on this earth you could be passionate about, your problem isn't passion, it's the lack of imagination. Imagination helps get you excited about things that may or may not happen, which makes you passionate about activities in your life. 3. Imagination stimulates innovation. Is there something in your life you wish you could change? Well, without a healthy imagination, you'll probably never be able to change it. This is because imagination helps your mind innovate to find solutions to problems that may exist in your personal or professional life. It can lead to all sorts of amazing possibilities as you innovate your world to suit your dreams. 4. Imagination helps you cope. There is no way around it. Sometimes life isn't fun. If you don't have a good imagination, you may find yourself getting stuck in a rut every time something bad happens in your life. Imagination helps propel you forward and keeps you thinking positively even when the future seems grim. 5. You use imagination to design your future. Do you have a hard time picturing where you'll end up? This is probably because you don't have a healthy imagination. Using your imagination is a critical part of finding goals you want to pursue and being able to visualize them to motivate yourself to work towards them. Without imagination, you may find yourself stuck in the present. Regardless of where you want to end up in life, it is very clear that having a healthy imagination needs to be part of your journey. This is why you should commit to boosting your imagination sooner rather than later. Can a healthy imagination help your career? When you age and begin to lose your imagination, you may not see this as a big deal. After all, what use could you possibly have for imagination as an adult? This isn't the way you should be thinking about things at all, though. A healthy imagination can help you in your career. You'll be better at problem solving. The main way that a healthy imagination continues to help you well into adulthood is that it helps you solve problems. When you face a problem where the answer may not seem obvious, 
it can help to imagine possible solutions, then pick the one you feel is most likely to work. Where else do you encounter more problems than in your job? Often, that's why managers hire employees to solve problems. Thus, your healthy imagination will help you to function and perform better in your career. You'll be more creative. In addition to hiring employees to solve problems, many managers create teams to foster creative energy to solve a problem. When you can come up with ideas that help move your team forward, this can take you much further in your career. It might even result in a raise or promotion for you if your manager is especially happy with your work. Your imagination could play a major part in propelling your career forward. You can create your own business. Maybe you're reading all of this and thinking that you don't necessarily want to spend your whole life in a 9 to 5 job, and this is understandable. However, a healthy imagination is critical if you want to venture out on your own to become a freelancer or start your own business. You can't create anything without imagining the life you would want for yourself or things you would want to see in your own business. So if you want to start working for yourself, it's time to foster a healthy imagination. Overall, whether you realize it or not, your imagination plays a critical part in your career. It doesn't matter if you still work for a company or yourself. Still, without a healthy imagination, your career could likely stall or seem more difficult without the creativity and problem-solving skills that come from a healthy imagination. Therefore, if you want to help your career, start by helping your imagination first. Top 3 Ways to Boost Your Imagination as you age, it can be disheartening to realize you're no longer as imaginative as you once were. This realization can leave you wondering how you can boost your imagination to be more creative. The good news is there are several ways to boost your imagination, the top three which are listed below. 1. Read People often associate reading with learning and thus view the activity as work or some sort of burden. But the reality is, reading a fiction or fantasy book is an amazing way to boost your creativity. You often have to use your imagination to picture the scenes and characters from the book, which you don't do in your regular life. If you can't find an adult fantasy book, don't be afraid to check out another fiction genre. You might find your new favorite book. 2. Daydream When you were a kid, was the teacher always telling you to stop daydreaming? While this may have helped you focus better in math class, it wasn't good for your developing imagination. This reason is why you should get back into daydreaming as an adult. You can sit on the couch and wonder what your life would be like if it were different, or even spend time visualizing your goals working out just the way you want to. Either way, the activity of picturing something that isn't in your real life will boost your imagination tremendously. 3. Do something creative. Now that you've learned how to boost your imagination by sitting on the couch, it's important to know that you can also boost your imagination by doing something creative. If you aren't sure where to start, consider taking an art class at your local community center. It doesn't matter what type of art it is, just that you take the time to create something from your thoughts truly. You can also work on building a garden in your yard, or even writing your own book. Both of these activities are creative and will get your imagination flowing. Whether you want to be more imaginative when achieving your goals or get back to something you lost, boosting your imagination can be a fun and relaxing activity. All you need to do to boost your imagination is read more, spend some time daydreaming, and commit to doing something creative. Before you know it, you'll imagine an all-new life for yourself filled with wonder beyond anything you thought possible. Why do we lose our imagination as we age? As a child, the world is a magical place full of all sorts of possibilities. One minute you're a five-year-old in the playground, the next you're a queen in her tower reigning over all the other children on the playground. These days were so great, so why do we lose our imagination as we age? You figure out what will never happen. The main reason you'll become less imaginative as you age is that you learn more about the world around you and what is or isn't possible. This affects your creativity. For example, when you're a child and think you can become a ballerina one day, well, that will have you spinning all over the living room. As you age, take dance lessons and learn you are indeed not talented at dancing, well, suddenly that dream goes away, as does you creatively imagining that you'll one day become a ballerina. You adapt social norms. Besides just discovering several things in life that will never happen, you also begin to adapt to social norms as you age. Unfortunately, running around your house pretending you're a wizard or warlock isn't part of the social norms of life. 
Sometimes this realization can be embarrassing, like finding out you're the only one who still plays with toys at recess. Events like this can lead you to leave imaginative play and your imagination behind to fit in the world around you. You forget how to be imaginative. To top it all off, as you're learning the truth and adopting social norms, you spend less time being creative and imaginative. Like any other skill in this world, the less you practice it, the more you begin to lose it. Becoming less imaginative is a self-perpetuating cycle as you age. It's easier to see imagination in children. It makes up most of their playtime. Once they begin to grow older, they'll play less using imagination and more with toys or in front of electronic devices. Sadly, humans lose their imagination as they age, but it is the unfortunate truth. It happens because of a combination of learning how the world works, adapting to their environment, and forgetting how it feels to be imaginative. At some point, if you don't change now, you likely won't be very imaginative at all.